It's now been three years since the Duke and Duchess of Sussex stepped back from their roles as senior royals and moved to their home in North America. As the couple spend most of their time at their home in Montecito, King Charles has made the decision to evict Harry and Meghan from Frogmore Cottage, a home they were gifted by the late Queen. Speaking on Good Morning Britain, former royal reporter Duncan Larcombe explained the King has played into their narrative they are victims. GMB host Susanna Reid commented, Your child and his wife have said they're going to spend 99% of their time out of the country. It's purely practical decision to offer that home to somebody else. Maybe it was a practical decision but it still opens the door to the sheer risk you're gifting Harry and Meghan the high moral ground, Duncan cut in. Their argument is the palace has treated them badly, the king has treated them badly etc. This just plays into their hands, their victim card. It comes after Duncan claimed it was revenge for Harry and Meghan going against the royal family. He argued, I think so far the way that the palace, including the Queen when she was still with us, but King Charles has behaved in a way that has risen above all the allegations, all the muck, Harry and Meghan have thrown in their direction. This represents a change in tact. This is revenge. This is a petty move. They have plenty of palaces and cottages. They don't particularly need this small cottage that was hardly being used until Harry and Meghan were gifted it by the Queen. Susanna cut in, if you think it's revenge. What specifically do you think it is revenge for? Is it what Prince Harry wrote in his memoir about his father? Or is it what he wrote in his memoir about his father's wife, his stepmother, Camilla? There are a lot of things you could perhaps argue the royals could get revenge for or want to get revenge for, Duncan replied. Since leaving Britain, Harry and Meghan has obviously embarked on this mission of trying to lift up the curtain and show the more grisly side of the royal family. But this is an action King Charles has taken as a king rather than a father because you don't want to cut off ties with your children, no matter how bad things get. If you love your children, you still want to keep that link. Ben questioned, so if he had still have been Prince Charles it wouldn't have happened? If the Queen had still been with us? I think Prince Charles and King Charles are showing themselves to be two very different people. Two different characters, Duncan asserted. Good Morning Britain airs daily on ITV from 6 a.m. i